Hello and welcome to part 4 of the tutorial series of fur and today is the last one. We're going to be looking at how to create those little ears on top, right? They'll be pointing out a little bit, they'll have their own fur systems and their own little tips and the tricks, right? So let's dive into that. Hit shift A, planes R, Y, 90. Um, I'm gonna make this as a separate object just for the sake of this tutorial, something like this. Let's add a subdivision modifier, set it to three, and let's just, um, let's make this sharp. There we go. By shift E, by the way. Beautiful. And we can now just use this as an ear, and let's actually add an edge loop there, so we can actually add a little bit of a curve. And let's add one there and there as well. Just like that. I'm just trying to recreate the shape of the ear a little bit more and I'm going to select these two and press double G so we can smoothen this out a bit more. There we go. And I'm going to select these two and extrude them in the X direction a bit just like that and move this down as well. And this does not need to be sharp. So shift E those two edges and there we go. So this is pretty much an ear already. Maybe we can even Let's say extrude this entire edge loop one more time. Just like that. Just so we have a little bit of a kind of dent going on there. Right, so let's press tab A, E, Alt S. Just scaled everything up a little bit there. So we have some thickness in the air that looks quite decent, I'd say. So let's select uh, these bottom few lines that are still purple and make them smoother as well and there we go that looks better and maybe we can just select the entire bottom edge loop and make that not smooth there we go that looks better right so now we need to worry about the uv map right because we worked from a plane our uv map right now is very simple so let's actually change that i'm going to apply or not apply i'm going to press the height button on my subdivision and I'm going to add some edge loops right about here. Actually, let's do this instead. Or maybe this even. Yeah, that's fine. So this is going to be a one face and this together with this. And that's going to be a seam as well. Right mouse, mark seam. And now we should be able to just press A, U and unwrap. If you're getting an error, just change this from angle base to conformal, right? So now we actually get some geometry that can work with. And the reason why I'm unwrapping this is because our curve systems, right? This one as well, they are based on actual UV maps. And if you don't have a proper UV map, you won't be able to place your hairs properly. Okay. So let's just re-enable this. There we go. And now we should be able to start adding some hairs on those ears. Okay, so let's just move it into place first. Scale it down a little bit. There we go. Add some nice ears. And press R and double Y or double X in this case. There we go. All right, so move them a bit closer to your head. Beautiful. Okay, so how do we now add some hairs? Well, it's the same way we did it before. Shift A, curve empty hair right and now we can go to sculpt mode hit the little plus brush and now we can actually add some new hairs right so right now they're added on the wrong side so what i'm going to do is press tap or sorry object mode first select our ear tap a and shift n just to make sure that the normals are all pointing outwards and now go back to your hair tab there sculpt mode and select front faces only and let's set the count to about 10. Right, so now if we draw, you can see that we're only drawing on the front part, for example. Now those hairs are primarily on the little edges and on the back of the ears. So I'm going to go to the back first and set the count to be about four. And then just draw some hairs in here. Some beautiful hairs, right? Amazing, amazing, amazing. I want some of them on those edges as well, right about there. So make sure that you don't go over the edge because then you will get those weird little artifacts that i just showed um so you can go a little bit on there we can still sculpt it pretty much how we need it just make sure that you have the hairs 
only where you need them. So I'm going to set the count to one now and just add a few more hairs on the insides. Just some scattered random hairs, I guess. There we go. And now let's just groom this, right? So I'm grooming this in a way where the cat hairs go up. Okay, so press the numpad three and just draw these cat hairs up a little bit more, just like that. Right, maybe outwards a tiny little bit. And I should have enabled the collision. That is my bad. Control Z a few times and enable the collision. There we go. Now our hairs are not going to go through our ears. There we go. Beautiful. Right, maybe puff them up a little bit like we did before. Something like this. That looks decent enough. Okay. So that looks nice. I'm going to grab the actual grow and shrink. Or no, let's add the snake hook. And just drag some of these ear pointy parts out. Because I want there to be some of these fluff on the ears. Right, something like this. And we can even drag them a bit more in. Or even shrink them down a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Right, so this is going to be one ear. Quite easy, if you ask me. And we want to add some of those thicker hairs there as well. So let's go to object mode first. And maybe we should just remove those hairs there. I don't really like them that much. This, 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 this. Right, I'm not really a fan of how that looked. Uh, we can also always re-add them later. But for now, I want to fill that up with the longer hairs in front anyway. So let's do that instead. So select the ear, shift A, curve, empty hair. And let's hit shift A. And no, we don't have to add shift A. We have to go to sculpt mode and set the plus. And we're going to set the shape to be slightly longer, maybe 0.5. Yeah, there we go. And now we want to add some hairs there on the front part, right? So set the count to five and add some more hair pretty much here and there, right? So that's pretty much how that's going to look. Maybe a bit more on the edge though, something like Something like this. There we go. All right, move a bit more here, a few more. There we go. And there, right? So now we can just grab the snake hook and just grab all of this hair and move it outwards like the hairs do in the actual cat hair. Right, something like this looks quite nice. This as well, maybe. Beautiful. Right, so what I wanna do as well is make sure that I already kind of clumped this a little bit, right? Because you could see that in the air that this was already a bit clumped, right? So I'm going to just manually clump it myself. There we go. Looking quite nice. And we can actually remove a few hair. There's a bit much something like that in there as well. Something like that. And we can actually grab the pinch brush and just pinch this up a little bit more. There we go. So that is nice, that is nice. I wanna grab one or two that are actually moving more inwards, just so those spots are filled up too. Something like that. All right, so let's hit number seven and just move everything a bit closer to the ear, just like that. And now we can go to front view and let's go and make sure that this does go out of the ear. There we go. Let's go to rendered view. See how all of that looks. So select your first hair system and let's go to asset browser and drag our curve profile back on there and set that to 0 0.003. And the same thing for the second curves. Drag that on there. Radius 0 0.003. There we go. And for this one, I want to add some more hairs as well so we can duplicate the hairs with the duplicate hair curves. There we go. So now we have a bit more. And let's add another clump hair curves there as well. So there we go. All right, that looks a lot better. Maybe 10 is too much. Set this to 3. Just so it looks like some fluff instead of some actual... um, <laughs> Instead of some actual thick hairs coming out there. Well, they are maybe quite thick. But something like this. So let's mirror this these systems. So hit Shift D, F3, Mirror X... No, mirror Y global. And just move that a bit to the left. So now we have two ears. Beautiful. <laughs> that was quite easy. So let's just set this material to be the same, I guess. So let's just select your data, or sorry, the modifiers. 
and let's just add a geometry node and set this to colorfer and do the same thing for the one on top. Geometry nodes set or, or sorry color fur and name this one. Uh, we don't have to name that. Not sure why I wanted to. Add a geometry nodes for the right ear as well, color fur, and for the longer fur there as well. Add geometry nodes and set that to color fur. There we go. That is already looking quite nice. And now for the ear itself, we don't really need to do much, but let's just because we have to pretty much, let's just add a little bit of subsurface scattering. All right, just so we get some of that light passing through the material. And this one too, so let's rename this material to be ear. And let's rename this to be, or let's just set this to ear as well. All right, so now we actually have some subsurface scattering. And let's make the color of the subsurface a little bit more reddish too. There we go. That looks better. Let's see how much we actually need though. Let's see, I think it's gonna look better if we add an actual light coming from behind, maybe an area light. And just make that shine directly into those eye, or sorry, back ear cables. There we go. And set this to maybe a hundred. All right, so that is basically a lot of subsurface. So let's just change that to be a bit less. Just a tiny bit, something like that, right? So now we get a little bit of an orange color shining through that. Okay, so I think that already looks quite decent. Maybe set this to be a thousand. There we go. So we actually get some kind of a back glow coming from behind the fur. I think that looks nice. Maybe it's too strong though. Yeah, something like that looks fine. All right, so I think that is going to be pretty much it. Um, I'm going to render this out, of course. You will see this in the thumbnail, what it ended up with. But this is the, the final result, pretty much. Um, I'm not sure if we should change the air color to be a bit darker, though. Yeah, that looks better. Bit darker. Also adds a lot of that subsurface scattering in there, which looks nice. All right, something like that. All right, beautiful. So now let's just keep it like this. I will render this out, but thank you so much for watching. I know it has been uh, quite a long tutorial, but there was a lot to go over, a lot to do together. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please leave a like, um, subscribe, comment. I would love every one of those, and then I'll see you in the next one.